For every successful story, for every successful person, is a story of perseverance and hardship. Okay? You have, you, for you dreamers out there that have dreams and aspirations for life, um, it's about visualizing it before it happens. Um, the laws of attraction is all about putting good vibes and uh, there are good intentions out into the universe. Anybody can do this stuff. Learning, big thing, learning not to judge and beat up on ourselves and the mistakes that we have made in our life. Learning to look at things in the past as a positive ex uh, learning experience that help groom us into better human beings is very important. Learning to be able to start, I mean, teaching yourself to start learning to not living with regrets is not, is, is uh, a feeling uh, uh, that's uh, very uh, powerful. Whatever doesn't kill us, regardless of the circumstances or the situation, makes us more stronger and wiser. For when I lost my father, I was down for years. My father was killed. I got through it, and I'm stronger than ever now. Um, this is an example. That's just one of many things I've gone through in my life. Um, you can't get what you... Uh, want if you don't know what you want so it's important to picture in your mind what you want to put it on paper what you want in your life for happiness and success and it's important too to remember that before success money comes happiness being comfortable in your own shoes that's very huge we can't succeed if we're not happy upstairs in our minds A lot of people spend a lot of time analyzing themselves, their past experiences, analyzing situations, maybe judging others. I used to do it all the time. It's such a waste of time and it ruins creativity and it ruins uh, our potential for success in them. Because we're using that energy up in our mind and it brings us down and makes us sad and depressed. Trying to let go of any old negative thoughts, past and present, is huge for mindfulness in creating um, abundance and success and wealth in your life. Um, for every, uh, you know, you know, person out there watching this. Um, I can't say enough how important it is for people to start learning, to stop worrying about what other people think, and to start concentrating on what your goals and aspirations for life are, regardless of what other people think, and stop in, in learning to stop judging yourself. We need to stop judging ourselves. That's what brings on depression and sadness. And we need to stop worrying so much about likes on Facebook or Instagram or followings. Um, it's all designed to, uh, you know, have us kind of addicted to likes and make us sad if we don't get enough likes or following, followings, you know, by people. It feels powerful to put down the phone for a few hours. I know that. And I highly recommend that. Um, we all go through our trials and errors and our hard points points in life, hard times, and your insecurities, and it's all about getting through it and persevering. Um, we can't make up for yesterday or what happened years ago, mistakes we made, and the best thing to do is to let that go and to not stay thinking in the past. So many people are stuck in past experiences and emotions and feelings. Did you know that just showing up at an old house where you had a bad experience brings up past emotions and depression and uh, sadness.
even in an area where you used to have stuff happen. You know what's really a, a, a very healthy thing to do? Changing routines up and not living in the same place your whole life, especially if you've dealt with depression. Moving around a little bit. A lot of successful people do. Because our environments can trigger and bring up a lot of times past emotions and experiences. Um, also, um, everyone out there is lovable. We all have our, we all have our strengths. Um, once again, I'll say everyone needs to stop obsessing about looks. Looks aren't everything. Okay. Um, the, you know, we all have beauties about us, beauties in the withholder. And, um, as soon as we stop judging ourselves and others, uh, you know, great things happen. Um, I used to be really angry. I used to, you know, judge myself and I was all the time and I could never be happy. I was miserable. I, as soon as I stopped judging others, judging myself mostly and being angry, getting angry easily, that's when happiness came into my life. And that's when I got my drive back to life to succeed and to have happiness. Happiness first foremost is the most important thing that we need to get more comfortable in our truth. That we need to be able to get out of our own heads to manifest being happy mindfulness envisioning what we want in our life is so important putting it down on paper this is my grateful list i write this all the time um i have down here uh for my health um for, you know, my family, you know, for my dog, roof over my head, food, money, clothes, being able to help others. Um, uh, you know, I really, you know, I love being able to help other people. If you listen to uh, what I'm telling, telling you about getting out of your head and stop thinking about what other people are doing, analyzing them. And especially analyzing yourself and beating crap out of yourself, like I used to do, you'll start feeling a lot more happier. Um, it's so important that we start to learn to not think about uh, stuff in the past that we can't fix. You just need to concentrate on today and what you can do for the rest of your life. Put it on paper what you what happiness and success looks like to you. Okay. And be patient. Success just doesn't come overnight. Happiness just doesn't come overnight. Okay. But it can come a lot quicker, especially if you listen to what I'm saying. That you want to let negative thoughts go through your head and out. Don't keep thinking about it. Okay. Manifest mindfulness. Manifest happiness. Think positive. You know, uh, that's why uh, meditation helps a lot and stuff. Um, because it's, it, I'm telling you, you're going to keep hearing this all over the place. When we think angry, negative thoughts, it, it destroys our creation and our, and our abilities for success. In the, you know, if we, every day is the same day as the last and it's predictable, and the, the, our, the rest of our life is going to be completely predictable. That's why it's good to change up routines, go to different stores and do different things um, as much as you possibly can. Um, get off, get up on the other side of the bed or, you know, change things up. Um, it's good for the mind and isolation is very bad for the mind. You want to make sure you're talking to a human uh, and having human contact. And uh, the worst thing we can do for ourselves when we're depressed is isolate. So um, that's what I used to do. Uh, I don't do it anymore. Um, you just start off by practicing little by little thinking more positive. Okay. And not worrying about what others think and analyzing yourself and start to realize the beauty you have and what you have to offer the world. We all have talents. Find your passion in life and follow it. Do it. Go through with it. And you'll be so much more happier. Go for your dreams. Strive for your dreams. For your happiness, your success. And you'll get it. Especially by uh, practicing mindfulness and, le and leaving negative thinking out of your mind and drama. Don't engage with people. It takes up too much energy and makes us depressed. Hope everyone has a good day. Please subscribe. And remember, try to think positive.
Positivity is the creation of everything. How we think and what we do is what we become. Bye.